Ozonation systems generate ozone, O3, from ambient air. Ozone is injected into the incoming ballast water to oxidize and neutralize aquatic species. Ozone reacts with other chemicals that occur naturally in seawater to form hypobromous acid and hypobromine ion. These are effective disinfectants. Where ships take on fresh water as ballast, for example ports located in lakes or rivers, Brominated compounds are not formed and the ozone alone acts as disinfectant. Waters with high particulate and organic matter require higher doses of ozone to ensure sufficient disinfection. Salinity and temperature are not obvious factors affecting the efficiency of ballast water treatment systems employing ozonation. However, longer holding time may be required. Both ozone and hypobromous acid disintegrate extremely rapidly. Ozone disintegrates significantly slower in fresh water than in seawater. Residual byproducts are measured according to IMO acceptable limits and neutralized prior to release. Ozone is known to induce breakdown of tank coatings and accelerate corrosion. Since ozone is toxic, Additional safety measures and crew training are necessary. Ultrasonic energy is used to produce high energy ultrasound to kill the cells of the organisms in ballast water. Such high pressure ballast water cavitation techniques are generally used in combination with other technologies. Ballast water treatment systems may combine cavitation with filtration, UV, ozone, or deoxygenation. Deoxygenation may be used in combination with other technologies such as cavitation or pasteurization. This treatment method involves stripping the oxygen from the ballast water to suffocate organisms. This is usually done by injecting nitrogen or another inert gas into the ballast water. The low oxygen level then kills most of the oxygen dependent organisms. It generally takes several days for the inert gas to fully deoxygenate the water. If a ship is already installed with an inert gas system, then a deoxygenation system will not require more space on board ships. Deoxygenation can be used in combination with pasteurization, where the ballast water is heated to reach a temperature that will kill the organisms. A separate heating system can be used to heat the ballast water in the tanks, or the ballast water can be used to cool the ship's engine, thus disinfecting the organisms with the heat taken from the engine.